TB Photo X 1.5 TFX and welcome back to another video. Well, this time it's another photo walk, this, uh, but uh, the difference is that this is a little bit special because <clears throat> I used uh, Fuji C200, 200 ISO, 36 exposure uh, film, but um, in the last one I said that I used the Nikon F501, the Nikon's first AF camera. I still use the Panasonic, uh, you know, little action cam to capture the video of the photo walk, whatever you want to call it. But I used a different camera this time, and uh, it's a little bit, uh, yeah. I used this one, the Nikon EM, and this uh, might some of you might uh, think is a little bit boring because this is a uh, it's an aperture priority only camera. The only shutter speeds you basically have is bulb mode, M90 which is flash sync and auto where the camera chooses the shutter speed and you choose the aperture. Well, the only thing also you have is a little button here to do a 2 uh, a 2 f neg uh, you know, 2 f stop darkening of the negative. So a little bit of a what should we call bracketing or that's if you take but Exposure compensation here with just one button, which is a little bit half-ish. But this, I actually took some anaglyph uh, images, and for you guys who don't know what anaglyph is, it's uh, old school 3D when you need some of these guys. Uh, because I use uh, glasses for visual correction, you know, in today's world when uh, we like to dabble in the 3D. You have to look like a more. You have to look like a moron and have these types of clip-ons when you view these vi view these images. Excuse me, but I know you look stupid with them. That you look like you have some kind of police lights uh, in your eyes or whatever. But why would I then use this? Well, it's because of this lens that I have here, which is a little bit of a special one. <clears throat> It is the Vivitar Series 1 uh, Q-Dose. So it's just like any other of the Vivitar, you know, 70 to 210 push-pull manual focus uh, lenses. But the difference with this one is uh, it has a maximum aperture of 2.8, but it also has a built-in filter. You have a little lever here that when you push this down, it says Q-Dose up here. And that means that the camera will take anaglyph, uh, lent, uh, anaglyph images, which is a, which is a little bit, uh, you know, different. So this is the setup I went for when I just, I just went around in the local neighborhood. We have a paper factory not long from here. So I thought I'll take some industry, industrial images with this system um, and try to do, use the QDOS effect. So I both took some normal images with this lens and I gotta say that um, Vivitar is a half and half, it's a love-hate relationship. Both this camera is a more budget camera but this, the QDOS was kind of a special special thing for Vivitar in the late 1980s, early 1990s because it still has a fairly decent macro setting uh, and uh, the QDOS effect is based utilized between 135 and 210 millimeters and uh, you know maybe 3.6 to 8 f8 uh, on the aperture control but it works then fairly decently with this camera on aperture priority because when you switch from normal operation to QDOS um, you can basically focus on your subject normally and then you switch over to QDOS and take the picture but the problem is that the QDOS filter actually takes away a stop and a half for almost two stops of light. So the shutter speed goes down fairly drastically. 
So if you're gonna use this to its full potential, you might want to use it with Flash, which might be a project in the future. But uh, anyway, uh, I thought about maybe using this as an experiment on the D7200 and using the Kudos filter and do Mach 3D uh, video with this and do it as purely experimental. But uh, we'll see in the future what uh, if it's viable or not with thinking of that the D7200 is a crop sensor camera and this is a little bit, you know, zoom dependent on when the kudos effect is at its peak. But instead of me yakking along about this, I think we're gonna cut to the B-roll and I'm gonna show you some of the pictures I've been taking when I was out and about with this setup. Uh, and uh, I think I might, uh, uh, you know, save the anaglyph uh, images for the end of this video so you can watch them in a more full screen setting. And if you have some kind of, you know, lenses or, you know, glasses that have this anaglyph uh, filters on them, um, you might be able to see the effect if uh, it is percep perceptible with this old school lens because this is an odd this is a really odd lens uh, it's uh, fairly expensive when you find it on eBay but uh, I got this from a person who I think didn't really know what they had and usually this is com this comes in a complete kit but uh, yeah it, it works for what it is. But anyway, I'll cut, stop uh, talking now and cutting to the B-roll. And as always, this is Tobias Bergstrom from TB Photo X 1.5 to FX. And I'd like to see you guys in the next video. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe as you're supposed to say in this mute malarkey. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.